y'all and welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video is going to be short quick easy simple make sure you like this video and subscribe for future videos the self-awareness journey is very 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 important when um attempting self-love so becoming self-aware is definitely knowing the difference between attributes and skills that way you know what to work on in your process um, today's video, we're going to do uh, a few skills, but more so leaning on the attributes because in order to develop skills, we have to know what attributes are and what do we need to work on. Um, so first, let me just say skills are the easiest way to put it. Skills are tangible. Skills are things that you can physically touch, physically see and um, work on and build towards maybe with other people, things that can be taught. Um, Attributes are going to be more so things that are intangible, things that have to be developed within, things that may take a little longer to work on, but they definitely have to be something progressive within you. No one can physically touch something or show you something when it comes to working on your attributes. Examples. Examples of attributes are things like courage, um, dignity, uh, pride, things like openness and understanding and um what are some other ones loyalty these are things that people can't teach you these are things that you have to learn over time that you have to um develop within basically skills are more so uh examples of like basketball computer skills communication basically anything you can learn in school from a parent or loved one or like um college or something like that these are skills skills can be um learning how to build something time management and um communication those are two things that are kind of borderline you can kind of teach these but you kind of can't i know i i know it sounds like redundant but communication and time management can be taught uh by another person but it's still something that has to be developed over time within self if that makes sense. So it's it's kind of like on, on the borderline of both. Things like organization. Someone can teach you how to organize your stuff. Um, but it's still, that one is still kind of borderline too because it's still like, you kind of have to be organized here and here in order to be organized physically in person. Like um, cleaning, that's another skill that um, that someone else can teach you. Someone can teach you how to clean. But to be clean to be a clean person, it, it's that one's kind of borderline also. Someone can teach you how to have, how to shop and how to dress and how to style and how to put things together. But having things like um, swag, that's an attribute. Like So that's the difference uh, on the same topic, but that's the difference between it being a skill and an attribute. But having a sense of humor, that's an attribute. That's something that nobody else can teach you. Um, having desire, being tenacious, being driven. These are things that someone can teach you how to have. Like you have to work on progressively developing these things over time and consistency. Consistency, nobody can teach you how to be consistent. Um, a few more cheerful, uh, curious, um, leadership. Leadership is a big one because someone can beg to offer, oh, you can go to school to become a leader or you can go to school, you can learn how to, how to um, do X, Y, and Z and you become a leader. I know plenty of leaders that are don't go to school and they're not considered a leader, but they are still in a leadership position or leading people. And then there are some people that like teachers and, you know, doctors, they're in leadership positions, but they may not be. I know a lot of teachers that are not good leaders. So that one is definitely, definitely an attribute and not a skill. Leadership is, um, it can be a title. Being enthusiastic, being multi-talented. Multi-talented is definitely something nobody can teach you. Um, you can have your own talents, you can have your own skills and, and maneuver them, but to be able to develop that sense of being able to multitask or multi be multi-talented, that is another attribute. So how do attributes and skills play into one another? Easily, simply put, attributes have to be developed over time in order to develop your skills while you're developing your skills you're develop you're unconsciously developing attributes or vice versa and what do i mean by this let's use the example of sports sports um let's say you want to learn how to run faster or throw the ball farther you have to develop the attributes of being consistent and being enthusiastic and being um let's see, reliable, dependable, 
those are attributes that you have to develop if you want to get good at a sport if you want to get good at that skill that's all i have for today i want you guys to work on your attributes and start developing more skills um when it comes to whatever it is you're trying to do thank you guys so much for tuning in once again make sure you subscribe and leave a comment letting me know what attributes you're working on what skills you're developing and how this helped you Mwah.